Howdy Micro Safari fans! Welcome to this episode. We're featuring the unusual protist Blepharisma. Blepharisma is a really cool protist people know very little about. It's a close cousin of Paramecium and you can see therefore it is a ciliate. If you look closely you'll see the the cilia all around especially on the feeding edge you'll be able, over by the gullet you'll be able to see what look like long eyebrows um, and those are the feeding cilia all the others are primarily used for locomotion for swimming you can see in, in these guys they have several uh, food vacuoles they are primarily bacteriovores so they're squeezing through these little bits of bacterial mats in order to gather up bacteria which they will digest and then eventually through exocytosis uh, dump out through their cell membranes. You can see the one in the middle that just swam up there with its nuclei. The nuclei of these guys has um, that bead-like shape that we also see in Stentor so it's a little bit different from Paramecium and we find out that they're like this in part because they do occasionally get very large. These are small. These are maybe a oh, little bit more than a quarter of a, of a millimeter in length but some of them as you will see get quite large and here we're zooming out now and happen to capture one blepharisma in the midst of dividing and you can see in the middle of the screen there it's attached end to end so this is in the process of what we call fission Basically, all the cellular parts have split except for a little bit of cytoplasm between the two ends. And oh, wow, look at that. There's one of the giant cannibalistic blepharisma. Occasionally, they get really, really, really large and will start to devour other blepharisma for reasons we really don't understand. I'll have to do another episode on those guys later. But here we have this very unusual capture where end-to-end -end, they're almost at the end of the cell division process you can see they look like two fully formed adult cells they just um, haven't made that final bit of cytoplasmic split yet anyway thanks for visiting um, thanks to my friends at Exo Labs for a great camera that makes all this possible and here's my contact information if you wanna get in touch with me or see other uh, videos thanks